OpenAI has made some recent changes in their approach to democratizing, so to speak, if you can put uh, their um, name associated with this word democratizing um, natural language processing. So they've recently published two blogs in which they talk about they introduced text and code embeddings in the open API uh, open AI API and they've also talked about aligning language models to follow instructions so plus they've just recently just two days ago published um, an interesting blog alongside a paper in which they show how codex can solve math problems flawlessly so I just want to go a little bit and talk about these updates now this one was uninteresting to me introducing text and code embeddings in the open AI open AI API and uh, I think the most basic or the most highlighted feature was uh, the similarity aspect of it so I'm not actually going to go into this because I find that not necessarily interesting but the previous one where was it the aligning language models to follow instructions this is the update that I want to talk a little bit about now they say how they actually updated their instruct models and the way they show their models their engines here they've actually changed the name of the appearance they've actually changed the name of the engine over here so we can see and this is a this is actually what I want what I want to talk about so text da Vinci 001 this was actually the instruct version 3 so formerly da Vinci instruct beta 3 this I would say this is their most capable model even though they say that da Vinci was previously their most capable model so I would say that this instruct v3 da Vinci instruct v3 then you also have the Curie which so Curie and Babbage also part of the instruct models they are less capable but also take fewer credits or fewer money compared to the the credit for the da Vinci which I would say or I still think if they didn't change their uh, pricing is sort of like six cents for a thousand tokens six uh, US cent US dollar cents sort of like and you also have the instruct beta you also you have access to all of their previous models and most especially the codex which are my favorite ones so a really important point that I want to make is and this is also interesting or this is also very important for me as an application developer as someone who developed alter ai.me based on uh, open ai this models it's really important that so far your api calls still work so if we specify text da Vinci 001 and we look into the code you can see that if we look into the curl for example you can see that they changed the engine here text da Vinci 001 while previously was da Vinci instruct beta version 3 so instead of that what you've seen here if I just copy this and actually paste it over here instead of this you've had da Vinci instruct instruct not instruct instruct beta v3 so this is what you actually had in your API calls previously and now you have text da Vinci 001 now what they say is that 
they actually suggest you should switch and update your API calls to reflect their latest implementations but they say that the older implementations still work now I haven't actually started doing this in my alter AI application but I will be doing that because I don't want to start having a malfunctioning product for the clients that are actually using it in this um, instruction following blog they talk a little bit more about the updates so if you're new to OpenAI GPT-3 and this entire amazing thing I would actually encourage you to start reading this one so that you are up to date with their latest and greatest and then also look into you could you could go into the documentation and depending on what you're actually looking for for example uh, you can just start going to the overview you can look into the tutorials first uh, they suggest looking into the completion I believe the completion was the one that's been called here you can look into the completion endpoint generate or manipulate text including code so this is really important say for example that you're writing an ad or something write a tagline for an ice cream shop we serve up smiles with every scoop it's really interesting let's see if we can replicate that in the playground with the text da Vinci tree 3 we leave the temperature to 0.7 the response length let's leave it shorter maybe 100 it's still too much for this tagline maybe 50 I usually set the frequency penalty higher because I don't want uh, repeated stuff let's actually set it to 1 I so as of a couple of months ago the frequency penalties maximum set point was 1 and I see now that they've actually made it up to 2 let's, let's actually set it to 1.5 1 1.5 all right let's run this come for the ice cream stay for the memories let's run that over where deliciousness and fun collide a sweet escape our ice cream is made with love the coolest place in town so this is the power of the instruct I still like to call it instruct beta v3 or instru instruct version 3 because text da Vinci 001 tells me that they're probably gonna have a lot of iterations with this 001 and it's like uninteresting so if you're just starting out with uh, OpenAI you've got free access I believe to the API they've actually opened GPT-3 to the public so you can just um, start out I think you can simply sign up with an account and start using it immediately but still applications must be approved before going live so if you're actually writing an application to the public or writing something that will be used by other people by the public at large you must write an application for your application so you must um, you must be approved first and when they approve they actually ask you to first before sending your request to the API to the completions API for example your request will first be sent to a safety check API and if the request passes that safety check it's actually going to be you can then send it to be processed by whatever endpoint you're actually using whether it's uh, the completion the fine-tuning I don't think you need that for the fine-tuning but for question answering classification I believe and so on and so forth and if those of you watching this video are actually interested in writing or in actually having me go 
in depth into all of these I'm really interested into going into fine-tuning just let me know in the comments below and I'll do that gladly